Hello everyone, welcome back to another art time lapse. Today I'm doing a piece inspired by Studio Ghibli, all the different movies, and I'm doing an alphabet poster. Now the inspiration for this of, came, of course came from my children. Um, they do love watching me paint and they love coming over to my drawing table and seeing what I do. Um, but recently I've noticed that my children are finding my work a little bit darker and like um, they like things a little bit more colorful and I had asked them for my last Snowy Villa piece, would they be interested in having a piece like this in their own room? And they said no, it's kind of scary. So I decided to do like something more whimsical, um, playful, that will be something beautiful and they maybe endure, endure over time as they grow older. So I decided to do an alphabet poster. Um, I actually don't have an alphabet poster in their rooms. They don't have actually too much decoration or decor in their room. It's pretty plain. Um, so I'm hoping that this will add a little bit of brightness and whimsy, whimsy and creativity to their room. My kids are actually learning the alphabets right now. They know how to sing the whole A, B, C, the whole song, but I don't think they understand the context of why they're being taught the song. So anyways, I hope that they can relate with learning the alphabet and the Studio Ghibli movies because I'm going to slowly expose them to the series of movies that I am so so in love with. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time researching this poster trying to figure out like are there general terminologies that can relate to each of the alphabets and at the same time I also want to include the names of beloved characters from Studio Ghibli movies so that they would get excited about watching the movies coming up. So it's a fine balance between the two. Here I'm doing Yi for Evergreen. Um, I think that will be nice. D, I wanted to do Dragon, not necessarily specifically the name Haku, because I think they're learning a little bit about dragons from some of the storybooks that we're borrowing. So I want it to be like relatable uh, for general terminologies, as well as some main characters, which you'll see coming up as I try to fill up the rest of this poster. I'm still debating whether I will make this poster into a print, We'll see if people are interested. Now here is B is for Big Baby from <laughs> Spirited Away. Of course, I'm going to write in what each of the alph alphabet represents coming up in Smaller Mothers. And that will be in the final version of the poster. But for now, I'm just going to focus on doing the illustrations for the, each of the characters. I'm trying to figure out like how to space everything apart because like um, currently it looks a little bit in shambles and disorganized. Here you can see that E for Evergreen is coming together closely with the little forest spirits that are hanging about. I thought that would be really cute. And then um, just again, like I mentioned before, trying to figure out how to best space these if I want them evenly spaced for each of the alphabet with the illustration or do I want them kind of like intermingled within the illustration itself. You can see for J there, you have C jellyfish with Ponyo on it. K, I think I'm Debating will be probably a kitten, maybe Kiki from, um, sorry, Gigi from Kiki's delivery service. So that will be what I'll be working on next. I'm trying to use the finest watercolor brush that I have available to do these details, but at the end, I do end up using my archival Sakura Jelly Roll to add on white highlights, which is kind of like my signature nowadays, I find with a lot of my drawings. Here you can see I have T for Totoro. I know tea could be many different things, but I feel like you have to know Totoro um, to kind of get inspired by this poster and to get into Studio Ghibli series. So I decided to do tea for Totoro specifically. And then you can see for each of the drawings, I actually don't spend the whole time doing one particular illustration in that drawing. I do different parts and then wait for them to dry and then go back to it later. So over, I'm trying to work on the entire drawing at the same time. So there's a bit of more unity rather than just like each unit, each illustration kind of uniquely on its own. It's a little bit more time consuming too. So you can see Tortoro is slowly coming into place, adding in a green leaf to cover his head. There's so many um, cute expressions of Totoro I wasn't sure what to add. You can see P I decided to do Princess, Princess Mononoke. She I guess the kids don't have to know who Mononoke is, but I think like it's nice to understand that princesses don't always have to wear crowns. And um 
just something a little bit different c i think i would do cat bus g you can see i'm doing a girl from chiro from spirited away h i'm gonna do hats from howl's moving castle of course with sophie and then you'll see some of the other illustrations coming up that i'm doing for the different alphabets but overall this is like a really fun piece to do i'm really excited to have the opportunity to do it not sure how much my kids will love it but i'll see how things go so you can see the cat bus is slowly coming together and some of the other illustration for the other alphabets you see are also coming slowly into play do you have an alphabet poster for your kids room or maybe when you're growing up do you remember having some kind of like room decor I don't know about you guys, like, my family wasn't particularly into decor, so it was not something I thought about for a long time. Here for you, I decided to do umbrella, so you can see there's May and also her older sister just waiting at the bus stop with the umbrella. I thought, such an iconic scene, right? I have to include the umbrella in this poster if it's going to be related to Studio Ghibli. There's also Kiki, which I thought instead of K for Kiki, it would be a witch. And like... It's a young witch, it's not a scary witch. So I, I like the little contrast in different ways. You can see some of these characters or traditional characters. She's though flying on a broom, which is pretty um, iconic for a witch, I guess. Also doing mask for M. So kind of no face has wearing a mask. I feel like I wanted to include no face, but I didn't know where. So I thought mask was the most appropriate. Although my kids usually relate to COVID mask when I say mask, maybe not necessarily a full face mask. So we'll see if they understand that. They may not be able to probably appreciate this poster until maybe in their teens. We'll see. But I thought it, you can't have um, a piece that is homage to all the Studio Ghibli movies without no face. Uh, for S, I decided to do the Susu Watari or like the suit sprites. They're all grabbing candy as well. I thought they're just really cute characters to not- it would be just really sad not to include it. You can see on the side here I also have R for robot, kind of like from for Castle in the Sky. So there's like a lot of different movies both old and new in this particular drawing and painting. For N on top you can see a little bit, a glimpse of it is actually uh, Ponyo having a noodle, N for noodle. Here I'm cheating a little bit with a black ink liner just to add in a bit of details that I couldn't with my fine gouache brush. I did paint this on a larger piece of paper but obviously not large enough for me to work on some of these details with my brush alone. So but I think it's important to get the details right so you can tell which character it is. And then here for Z, I decided to go zoom. Um, I don't know if this is like the right, I, th I think it's a little bit of a cheat because zoom is more of a verb than a noun, but maybe I'm getting too much into the technicalities of it. You can also see the glimpse on the corner there, V is for violin, which I'll let you guess which movie that's from. So yeah, I think there's a good composite of different movies, both old and new in this poster, that hopefully would draw their, my kids' attention. This here I have Y is for yellow, and it's like a yellow, is it a chicken or a duck? I can't remember. It's found from Spirited Away, how these um, gods are taking a bath in the bathhouse. So you'll find them there. I thought, you know, that seems like a good choice. So you can see I'm going back using like a ink mm, pen. So you can see it's a brush pen. It's not like a um, fine needle pen. So I can create a little bit of depth and um, lines that can have some width and thinness to it if I want to, depending on how much pressure I put on the pen. So it's like a nice contrast. So I hope you enjoy this video of me doing uh, the Studio Ghibli inspired alphabet poster. Uh, yeah, we'll let you enjoy the rest of the video and as always if you like the content on this channel please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It will really mean a lot. Thank you so much for considering and I hope you enjoy the rest of this art time lapse. 
and I'll see you next time in another video. Stay safe and stay creative.